DRB Sports fans, welcome back to almost the halfway point of this update case. This is box number six. We are $230 into this so far, give or take. Um, they're about $45, $46 a box. So this is box number six. We're almost $280 bucks into this. It's getting expensive. The last box was the first box we pulled a short print. We pulled a Jonathan India short print. I looked at it again. I think it's off-centered. I wanted to grade it, but I'm not sure I will be able to. I think it would probably get a 9. Well, we'll have to find out on that one. But that was unfortunate. And then uh, we also pulled a Mojo of Kelnick. So box number 6. Let's see if we can pull something amazing. Let's see if we can pull a big head, pull an SST, Let's find out. That's why they play the game. What's that? Let's just re reveal it. <laughs> Keep Brian Hayes. Okay. Pack number one. What's that? Oh, sick. Oh, my God. That is sick. Oh, that is sick looking. I mean, I know he's not like the greatest player ever. He's a great defender, but that is a sick looking card. The only thing better than that would have been the black one. That is a sick looking card. Key Brian Hayes on the blue, black gold. All right, next pack up. Kyle Tucker for the second time. Nothing doing there. <clears throat> Could that be a good omen? I don't know. I think those are tough pulls, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, black gold. It's such false small font. Oh, here we go. Black gold insert one in 21 packs. The blue. Oh my goodness. That's one in every 600 packs. That's a rare card. That's an extremely tough pull. The market won't value that card, but if you got a 10 on that card, maybe it would. This year's rookie class with like the um, Julio and Bobby Witt. That would have been the year to pull it. But I never did. I pulled two black versions of that from um, Padre. Joe Musgrove. Gold. It's a checklist card? What the heck? Oh. Okay, first no hitter something. It's cool. First Padres no hitter. Well, this is like one that goes down in the in the record books forever. That's going to be there forever. I can't believe that was the first Padres no hitter. That was like 40 years into their franchise. <laughs> That's funny. All right, next pack up. Jake Cronenworth. Nothing doing. Man. Let's pull a super fractor. <laughs> Not. It'll never happen. Posh. Cool photo on the Fast friends, new teammates, Joe. All right. One numbered card. And a sick ass looking Key Brian Hayes. He needs to play better. I mean, he's such a good defender. He's going to be, he's going to have a solid war. Like his whole career is going to be that three to four war per season. But he needs, like, 
he needs to separate himself. At some point, he's going to have to hit like 300 with like 20 home runs and 100 RBIs. Apparently, he leads the league in caught stealing, too. I didn't know that. All right, next, Jose Altuve. I'd like a short print out of this one because we are kind of like owed short prints, even though we pulled one in the last box. So you don't get one every box, but we're, we're one for five on short prints so far. So I feel like we're owed short prints. It should start coming flowing. I wonder how many complete sets we're going to get. Larry Walker, I haven't pulled that one yet. Chris Archer. Arenado. All right. Next pack up. Perdomo. Brett Honeywell. No idea who that is. All right. The question on this box, are we getting an auto or are we getting a relic? If we have one auto so far, it's numbered out of 50. And we've got four relics. Alex Kirilov, whatever happened to him? I think he's been hurt. Maybe he'll come back. All right. Next pack up. We have got Savali Torrens. Correa. Nothing doing. All right, almost halfway through the box. We're letting $400 on fire. No, <laughs> we're lighting 50 bucks on fire. Jared Kelnick, I knew that was coming. A little off center, but I heard he, I heard he hit another home run today. We'll sleeve up the Kelnick. Everybody was so off that guy. Like, everybody wants to hype on a guy, and then the moment he turns to crap, everybody's like, oh, he sucks. Let's say, do the same thing with J-Rod. It's like, oh, J-Rod had a bad month of April. Oh, he sucks. He's terrible. He's washed up. He's going to be out of the league in eight months. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. Guys have ebbs and flows in a season. It's a long, long, long season. Chris Bryant, when he was on the Cubs, oh my gosh, that's been so long ago. All right, we have one numbered card in this box so far, but we pulled the blue key Brian Hayes. Can we get lucky and pull something crazy? Maybe. Oh, and ooh, I knew it felt like something was stuck to that. Garrett Crochet Autograph. Okay. Probably not the guy you're hoping for, but it's a, it's an on-card auto of a rookie pitcher for the White Sox. Not numbered. I'm going to have to check for short prints that were stuck, now that I think about it. I, that card was stuck to that one ahead of it. I, I wonder if I had that same issue in the first half of the of the uh, of the break where this has got a vintage stock. I just wonder. I know who that looks like. You guys, sports card that looks like Michael Ham, <laughs> kinda. Uh, Ronnie Garcia. Who? Oh, man. Oh, well. We got a vintage stock out of 99. It's a Detroit Tigers pitcher rookie. Blah, blah, blah. Went, went, went. It's an up and down box, isn't it? Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. 
We all knew this was a gamble going in. It's a risk I was willing to take. Ted Williams. Okay, next pack up. Another insert card. Colton Wong, Andrew Vaughn. You gotta work hard, but you should be able to make, like I said, at least half your money back. Doesn't seem great, but you'd hope that maybe out of, out of a case, you'd get like 10 cards to grade. And then you could, you know, snag seven tens and do all right. Get that case hit. If you get a good case, it's even better. Randy. Nothing doing. Five packs to go. Thanks for hanging in there, everybody. I'm getting faster at this. <laughs> what do we got? We got a gold. Be a rookie. Lindor. Joey Bart. Gerber. It's a Mariner, but it's a vet. Oh, man. Chris Flexen. They're just trolling us. Is that a short print? No. I don't ever remember the Logan Gilbert rookie. All right. We've got two numbered cards in this box. And an auto. All right, India again. It's like the second one. All star game, Jared Walsh. Nothing doing. Three packs to go. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Keep saying that. Kelnick debut. All right, let's see. Chris Bryant on the Cubbies. Nothing doing. Two packs to go. All right. Let's see what we can find. Die cut. Turnbull. Brad Miller. Die cut Tom Glavin. Taehwan Walker. Last pack plus the mojo packs. Rainbow foil. We got two numbered cards in this box. That's kind of crazy. Seems kind of low. Pirates. Cole Tucker. All right. Acuna. I think I had that card way back a year ago. Two years ago. No. He's having a great year. I don't know why I'm sleeving this up, but I will anyway. All right, last mojo pack. And I got to clean up my mess before continuing for the second half of the hobby case. Kyle Isbell, rookie. Pujols, nice. Francisco. And last but not least, Alex Kirilov is our last mojo. So, that'll do it for this box. Here goes our hits. I don't even know why I sleeved some of these up, but I did. We got a Joe Musgrove first no-hitter. Uh, Rony Garcia, vintage stock out of 99. Jared Kelnick on the 86. Okay, Brian Hayes, blue. Really cool looking card. I love the way this card looks. This might grade pretty well. And if he ever did something special, that would be a pretty big card. And then a Garrett Crochet <laughs> autograph. Born in 99, so he's young still. But uh, yeah, that'll do it. Box number six is in the record books. And uh, we'll keep going. Thanks again, everybody. 
Take care and I'll see you in the next video.